How's it going everyone? So completed as one would expect in proper order. So uh, as you can see they're wound opposite directions. All right. Okay, so we're gonna make this the volts. We're gonna make this one the amps. It doesn't matter what one's what because they're oppositely wound. Uh, the volts gets a capacitor, the amps gets a coil, right? Electric, magnetic, and then it flips. And now we gotta determine, we know we're gonna put an L3 here and we know it's gonna be Tesla's specialty winding technique. Now we gotta determine the frequency we want it to work at. Well, the whole wave, when you look at it like this, is actually a 16 foot, mm, six inch wave. So that's the whole secondary, the whole thing. And uh, uh, so we're going to go, uh, we're tuned here at quarter wavelength to this, which is really 1 16th of the entire. And uh, we're going to put the amperage at half wavelength. And half wavelength, why? Well, because it's, that's going to be 8 of 16, half wavelength, which gives us one full bar. And it's going to be split in half, so we have two polarities. High and low, high and low, high and low. On our amps coil. Now the amps coil cancels the electron. What the hell's flowing down the amps wire? Isn't that an interesting thing? I think that's going to lead to more and deeper, clearer understanding of uh, 3, 6, and 9. All right, guys, uh, the next video, I guess I'm going to be building the uh, L3 coil for you and the, L, uh, the L1 coils, but uh, they're, you know, whatever, it's three turns. I worked out the length at quarter wavelength. Um, it is uh, two feet, two, three inches. I worked it out in inches anyways. It's 99 inches, the entire length. And then you divide that by four. It was like tw two feet, three quarters of an inch per coil. Right? And then you've got quarter wave, which is 16th of the entire. Ciao.